Okay, this is the rocking chair jig. It's a Canadian jig. It's in the key of C. Okay, a nice little jig in the key of C. And it uh, has two parts. And it starts right off with a kind of a difficult little passage, and uh, I'll play it slowly, but you borrow your second finger for this effect of the rocking chair. Kind of difficult to hit that uh, second finger down and bar that, play that C chord there. So I'll, I'll try to play a little slower. So that's the whole first part of the tune. You're just going to repeat that again. Make sure when you're in the key of C, you do a, a scale. You know how to play a scale pattern in C? It's just practice. You're not going to go up in the third position. But uh, make sure you know how to play that F note. Uh, flat first finger on your E string. So one more time on the fingering. You gotta start with the open first finger, flat first finger on your E. And then just repeat that again. Okay, the second part starts on on your G on your D string. Okay, so that's all there is to it. The second part is pretty easy. To play, uh, you're not really doing anything uh, fancy with your your fingers are all like you if you were playing in the key of G. And uh, I think I add uh, uh, one little part uh, or a couple notes here. to hit a third finger right there. A little trill there. And you might have heard me hit the C chord off and up. Uh, second finger A, third finger D. And you hit a trill here.
And you can play a few chord uh, drones here. Uh, I'm not going to play the F chord. single strings you're going to be playing for this jig though. So uh, let's just play it with the single strings. And you end up with a C chord though. So let's just play the whole thing now from the beginning, slowly, and uh, see if you can get uh, this one in C. It's called the Rocking Chair Jig. Rock and share jig.